Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in Rust, and in the last episode I said about this and completely forgot to um, show you how it works. So basically what you can do um, is you can paint it, um, or you could write on here if you wanted. So um, as an example, um, oh my, um, uh, well let's just do that then because... Um, yeah, then you can get the idea. Right, so, one, two, three, four. So, if I save that now, then when I spin, it will eventually land on something. Whoops. It will eventually land on something, and it's a kind of decision maker. Um, so, yeah, completely unbiased, so that landed on two. Um, so, that's one of the things that you can do here, and um, obviously, you can change a brush size as well. So, you could have, yeah, all different colours. Um, or whatever but anyway um, we won't worry about that so what I'd like to do in this episode is continue making um, gunpowder so for that I need that and that um, so let's get some more charcoal because we've got so much charcoal and also we've got quite a lot of sulfur now as well so how much more can I make with that um, go on here so I can craft lots at the same time and we will come back to this as well I've got two plans for um, this episode right so that's that done and then I'd also like to make the um, workbench level 2 because we are going to need that so we need 20 high quality metal and 500 scrap and um, we've got plenty there so take 20 out and then I'm not sure how much scrap metal we've got. Um, oh yeah, look, perfect. Um, and 500 of them. Alright, 501, why not? And let's get building this. So, like I said before, um, this isn't going to be our main base forever. Don't worry. Um, but obviously we are running out of time a little bit. There's a scientist down there, if you can see him. Just there, look. Yeah, we are running out of time on this server, unfortunately, because of the um, wipe. So, um, as I record this, the first episode has just gone live this morning. And um, it did alright, to be honest. It it wasn't terrible. Um, yeah, so if there's enough um, popularity for this, I will be um, carrying on on this server, I think, because the people are nice. And um, I think it would give us a kind of easier start. Right. So now we can make some more bullets. So onto crafting, ammo, that, and let's just make loads. 91, why not? Oh, so, right. So if I go here, you can see that it says workbench level 1 over on the right there. So that means that I can craft it now. So you do have to be in range of it. Okay, and then we'll be able to pop that down in just a second. There we go. So number six, I think that was. And yeah, we'll just pop it there. Right, so this thing, let's have a look through the tech tree. Okay. Um, so armor, night vision goggles, um, different types of ammo. Is that a double barrel? Oh, pump shotgun. Okay, so that's much better than the one we've got at the moment. Um, Semi-auto pistol, revolver, grenades, flamethrower. Um, I'm looking for a particular gun. Thompson. Semi-auto rifle. And yeah, like bits for the rifle as well. Okay, well, that wasn't either of them, but you know what I mean. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, so there's lots of stuff that we need to unlock, but obviously this all costs scrap metal, and we're not doing that great for scrap metal. Um, and yeah, just think. Oh my goodness, a pager! <laughs> wow, I haven't seen a pager for years. Um, if you didn't see the very end of the last episode, I did realise that I can't fit the car out of the um garage. I I did realise that, and I unmuted the microphone and quickly said it. Right, just here, so cockpit vehicle module, um, engine vehicle module. So we could make all these. Well, obviously we can't at the moment. But, um, yeah, as you can see, you can put rear seats on. So at the moment, we've just got that 
that and then a frame. So you can make it into a flatbed, um, a kind of mini bus, um, even better mini bus, a camper. Um, that storage vehicle fuel tank. So I would really like to um, get into all that. And I'm sure, because the people on this are so nice, I'm sure someone would um, let us have a look around theirs. Anyway, right, so that's all doing its stuff. We don't need this much ammo on us. So let's try and be a little bit sensible about this. And we'll stack some of the ammo in here. Um, is that still crafting ammo? It is indeed. Nice. So let's pop some of that in there. Um, we'll keep that much on us. I've messed this up completely. Right, do we need some food? Nope. Um, right, so let's put the rest of this junk away quickly. Can only take a second. That there, that there, that there. So we need um, scrap today and wood. Yeah, scrap and wood. Um, don't need the hammer on us. That can live in there for now. Uh, do we need the bucket? Nope. My goodness, inventory management, Jolly. You should have done this before. I'll keep that on us just in case. Right, so we've got everything we need for the moment. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you're all well. Hope you're all having a good one. So just in case you didn't sit. I've done something wrong there, haven't I? Just in case you didn't see it in the last one, we got a car. And in this one, we lost a car. I genuinely didn't know it vanished. Sorry, everyone. I'm not starting the recording again. <laughs> right. It's your fault. You haven't got a car in your inventory, have you? Right, a little bit of scrap metal, perfect. And we won't worry about that. Okay. Oh, I'm disappointed. And I'm sure a lot of you are too. But yeah, in the um if I do another series on this, if it keeps being yeah, relatively popular, if I do another series, I'll learn all this. I'll learn it off camera somehow. I'll find time to uh, yeah, study and I'll try and make some friends on here so that they can show me what to do. Right, um, you really shouldn't be doing this, Jolly. Jolly, mate. Shouldn't be doing this. I'm going up there. So I'm probably going to die 45, 46,000 times today. But you never know. We've got loads of ammo, so I can just spray and play. Pray. Well done, Jolly. Flipping idiot. I could do with a sniper, but they have got a bit of a vantage point, haven't they? Let's just run. We're probably going to get shot at in a minute, so jump scare warning. There we go. There's one. And I don't know how many people are in there, by the way. I have no idea. But this gun's right, isn't it? I see you in the window. If I had a decent mouse mat, I'd probably be able to aim at you as well. Um, as for sounds of the gun, I think pretty flipping good.
Where are you going? Right, so there's another one there. Um, there's quite a few over there, isn't there? Um, we're bleeding. Okay, so should I... Wrong one, Johnny. Um, no, sod it. We'll, we'll go in with wood, because um, I left it at home, didn't I? Let's have a little look at them. Um, we'll get our pair of oculars out. Because I haven't actually used these yet, have I? Um, okay, so... I don't think you can zoom. Oh yeah, you can. There he is. Another one. So they've got very short memory. They've got the memory of... Um, one of them things that you uh, drain... Pasta or rice with a... Um, A goldfish. Um, right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Our success rate is um, going to be low, isn't it? Oh, we lost the car. Well, I lost the car. It wasn't your fault. It, I mean, it was partially your fault. You should have told me, really, but I'll let you off. Um, protects chest. We'll need that. Hello. Nice. And I don't know how many people are in the server today. So how many thousands of bullets did we just go through there? Um, probably about 7,000. Excellent. So that's a good little um, rate. Yeah, he's dead, mate. He messed with the wrong person. No. I think that noise was a headshot. So at least we've given him a headache. But um, not really what, what we need to be doing, is it? Can you jump and fire? No. Hello. Right, two down. Is he up in the tower? Nope. You're gonna die, Johnny. Oh no, radiation. Okay, so we need the hazmat suit on to go in there. Okay, let's just pop it on now. So I know that we're gonna be less protected now. And also extremely hot, but we'll just have to live with it. Um, I could redo with a chocolate. Okay, so that's increased our health ever so slightly. Um, on here we'll have this can of beans. Nice. Well, it wasn't. It's can of beans. Have that too. Okay, so slightly more now. Right, there's a tango down there. Right, you've got to be careful here, Johnny. Okay, um, we'll just take that straight away. I've never actually used one of these before. What's that? Five. Pop. Okay. Nice. Cheers for that, buddy. I appreciate it. So that might be a bore. We've got a pager now as well. Never use a pager. Um, yep, we'll leave that there. There's going to be so much more loot in here that is obviously going to be extremely handy. Massive forklift. Proper industrial one. Right, I know that we're coming up on someone here. Right, so jump scare warning. Tango down. 
Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, we don't need this. So, rest in peace. Don't need that. Don't need that. Right, let's do it. Jolly on a roll. Oh, or not. You're going to make a complete fool of yourself now, buddy. Okay, never been in one of these before. So we'll come back to that in a second. But let's go over here and see if any more fools want to play. Acting all big. I know I'm going to die. It's a ball. <laughs> oh. Where are you, fool? Do you want some bullets? I've got loads of them. You're in here somewhere. Tango down. Right, so let's have a look round and see what loot we've got. So we'll take the scrap metal. We'll basically take it. We'll take everything. And then we can just drop as we need to. Where are you, little bugger? Little blue boy. Um, what's the car in here then? Hello? Anyone about? There definitely is. I 100% heard a radio. It's going to be a jump scare again. Okay, well, I am sorry if anyone jumps. So it might be worth turning it down a little bit because in a minute it's going to go hectic probably. Right, so let's have a look round. Um, we'll start over here then, shall we? Still wearing a hazmat suit, so we shouldn't be affected by radiation. I probably shouldn't press that. What even is that? Oh, rifle body. Okay. It looks like a um, knife sheath. Or whatever they're called. Yeah, I don't know what all this is. No idea. But like I said, if this is um, reasonably popular in series two of it, I'll um, try harder to uh, learn all this stuff. And hopefully I'll give you a better viewing experience. Yeah, I can still hear a radio. So there's someone around here somewhere. So any moment now, he's going to jump out on us, probably kill us. And then I'll spend about 45 or 50 minutes trying to recover all our stuff. What's that? Ladder. Okay, we'll take it because we can just scrap it. Lovely copper kettle. Right, you can't open this door. Nope. I don't think he's up there. Thought I had music for a moment. Okay, um. Yeah, so that person that just wrote there, 40. They're saying that um, so that it means that they're going to it. And I think whoever says it first, kind of on this server at least, gets the uh, priority. All right, so that's that done. Oh, they're on the cargo ship, um, which I'll try and get a 
few of later on. Um, yeah, we could do some target practice, can we? Let's be honest. Right, what's in here? Another one of them. They stack, so we'll take that. Does that stack? Yes, it does. Nice. Okay. Right, so I'm probably missing a lot of loot. But that's okay. I, I still think that there's a scientist around here somewhere. But I just... Can I find them? I don't think it's the... Fallen ones that are making that... Radio noise. And I imagine you can probably get underground here somewhere as well. Okay, well, um, I think quite the success, really. Right, so let's have a quick look. So press in G. Have a quick scroll around the map. Oil rig. Um, I thought that the cargo ship showed up on the map. But, um, obviously mistaken. Unless I'm just being a moron. Yeah, I don't know. Right, so what I'd like to do next is go around this side. Because I've got a feeling there's something dug in the cliff. Yeah, this. Right, that's footsteps of the enemy. So, another jump scare warning in a moment. They're going to just appear somewhere, I imagine. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yoink. Um, no ball. Okay, our health's a little bit low, so... On the back here, there's usually some food just in there, if you could see that. So, let's have that. That. And this. Oh, is it this that's going on? Yeah, I think it's that that's going on. But I did hear some... Someone walking on metal, so... Is it something in here? Someone just the other side of this. Hello, mate. You open up. It's Jolly. Jolly. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you get in there. Maybe it was that button. So let's. Sorry about this, everyone. Wasting everyone's time. Let's quickly go up and press that button. See what happens. I hope I don't get in trouble for this. So I think you're meant to tell people when you're doing stuff. Just so people are aware. Um, okay, so we've pressed that. Do I need to do anything else? I don't know. So let's go down and see if it's open. If not, we'll just give up with this pace. But yeah, we've got quite a lot of loot. And um, satisfaction is through the roof as well. No, it's still shut. Okay, I don't know then. Maybe I need to use explosives to get through. No idea. Anyway, right, so... Um, next we need to... Roughly head back in this direction and chop some wood on... The way. Oh look, what's this? That looks like... Might be able to do something. No. Oh, knock. Is someone actually going to come open this? Yeah, there's someone there. Hey, mate. I'm friendly. He's, can you see the laser? Friendly. Hello. Hey, 
Ähm. Running away. Come on. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, well, I tried. Right, let's get our little um head torch thing back on. So I need to swap that for that. I can hear something coming, but hopefully it's just a ball. So if I don't attack him, I think he won't attack me. Um That'll do for the moment. Get the little lamp on. Yeah, I quite like the lighting effects on this game as well. Like the lighthouse, that looks good. Kind of beamed across. Yep, we'll take it. Okay, so where it's so dark now, um, I'm just going to chop wood and I'll see you back at home in a little bit. Okay, so back home now, and um, let's uh, let's make another storage thing, um, because we do need another one. Um, I wonder whether one will fit in there. Let's give it a try. So it's this one here, large wooden box, and I didn't show that being made last time, so let's leave this in. Yeah, and um, also at the end of the last one, um, oh, a rasp or two. At the end of the last one, um, I did put some metal in here as well. So it's prote protected for another eight days. That's absolutely fine. Right. So another one of them. And uh, not quite. Um, I think you can stack these. Oh, no. You have to do a weird thing. Um, okay. Oh, they clip now. They clip onto each other by the looks of it. Well, I like that. Oh no, maybe they don't. No, they don't. Uh, okay, so it's going to look a bit wonky, but we'll have that there for now. And what I'd like to do is get all this stuff orderly in there. So let's move this across. I know it's like really jank, I think would be the word. But um, I will get around to sorting all this. Right, so we want that there. Excess there. Um, yeah, same with this. That there, that there. Um, that. And get the rest of this out. And then I'll use this as ammo. This little box here. Ammo storage. And then these can just go down the side. Yeah, so that's how it'll work. But we'll swap them out, out for that. Because we're not going to have that much high quality metal. Perfect. And then in here, um, we'll have the different ammo types. So, um, we've got some more in here. Uh, might as well put the spare guns in as well. Yep. So, this, usually, I'm a lot... What's that noise? I'm a lot more efficient with this kind of thing, but obviously while well, I'm rushing a little bit while I'm on camera, and also while well, I know that we haven't got unlimited time on it. Oh, another thing, you can unload the ammo from the guns as well. Yeah, I'm not going to put too much effort into uh, making it all neat and tidy. Um, this might as well stick in there as well. Right, there's still some more ammo somewhere. Because we've got that rifle ammo somewhere. Here. Okay. Right. Um, anything else to go in there? Um, cogs. Lovely. Okay. And drop that in. We'll keep that many on. Because I'm not a very good shot, am I? So, yeah. We'll keep that many on us. And we need to pop that in the bag. I suppose we could have 128 in there, couldn't we? Yeah, we'll do that. Um, high quality metal shouldn't be in there. That shouldn't be in there. That shouldn't really either. But we've run out of storage over there. That's the trouble. Okay. High quality. Bugger it. 
oil. Okay. Where's this helicopter? Does it show up on the map? Not by the looks of it. Okay. Right. I'll see you all in the morning, I think. Too late to record at the moment. Yeah, back in a moment. Okay, so while the sun finishes um, coming up, let's uh, let's unlock some of this stuff. So what I'm going to do is head down for this because we've got lots of that. So let's try and get these unlocked. Uh, um, we are running out of scrap pretty quick, but that's alright. What's this? Parachute. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yep, yeah, we can do that. Road sign kilt. Horse armor. <laughs> oh, yeah, we won't be able to have a horse. Um, right, and then we're out of uh, out of scrap, but that's how that works. Right. So, how much more junk have we got on us? Um, we'll keep that on because I need to use that in a minute anyway. Um, chuck the pager in there because I don't really know what it's used for at the moment. We'll take that. We'll scrap the ladder. Scrap that. Scrap that. Check that the fire's topped up. Um, right, it's not. So, we need to put some more stuff in here. Not in there anymore, Johnny. You moved it all. Do you remember? Nope. You're a blithering idiot. Okay, and we'll pop that there. Take that out. And then that'll do two stacks. Perfect. Okay. Um, That too, that'll fit in there nicely. Yeah, we'll keep the scrap on us. And let's get going again. Um, Got enough food and water. We'll have a little sip from here. Oh yeah, and also, that, um, if anyone who plays on this server is watching, whoever owns that base, I left a chocolate in the um, outside thing for you. Um, I'll see whether it's still there, because if not, they must have eaten it. And I hope they have. Little chocolate bar. Right, looking out for the horse that I can't see. I didn't notice it when I looked earlier. And, yeah, let's get this stuff. So, yeah, we desperately need scrap metal now. Perfect, there's some. What's that? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so I'm not going to be automating or anything on here. That's something that you can do. I've never done it because it wasn't in the game before. Um, It's not worth putting that much time and effort into something that's going to be wiped soon so yeah i won't worry too much about that kind of stuff and let's go over and have a look in their little box and see whether they've eaten their chocolate or taken it at least i always check my um little post box outside our house there's not been anything in it yet no it's still there shame a chocolate awaits you mate i don't know who it is Okay. There must be a loot all function. But I don't know what it is. Stone barricade. Or we'll just smash it up for rocks. Um, how much inventory space have I got? Not much. We're going to weigh this in for scrap. I know that I probably should be keeping them, but I doubt we're going to have a car on here again. And I should be keeping that as well, but let's just get it done. Okay, and quick look downstairs. Yep, we'll take that. Um, oh, miner's hat. Excellent. Okay, so I'll demonstrate that later. Um, unless, how dark is it down here? Um, not fantastically. So that's with the little um, oil lamp that we've got. 
And then if I swap this out for it, there we go. So much, much better. So we'll definitely be having that. Um, don't forget to take out the um, excess if you swap over. Because otherwise you just lose it. Yeah, that's so much better. I'd completely forgotten about the miner's helmet. Right. Um, more stuff. Not automating, so we'll pop that on. Uh, rug. That too. Get some rocks from that. Well, stones. Right, so let me process this stuff. And I will quickly go around and loot the rest of it as well. Back in a moment. Okay, so that was quite a good little haul. So we've got this now um, from there. And I'd like to go back up to that thing and have another look. Because last time we were up here trying to refine oil. Um, we got much wood. Uh, we've got a bit. Last time we were up here, the helicopter came, didn't it? And um, yeah, I had to kind of abandon the place. So let's go through, properly loot it. And see what's here. We haven't got a huge amount of inventory. But um, worst case scenario. I suppose I could put a little um, storage box down over here. Well, I can't see any scientists. Right, we'll get some oil in the thing so that it's processing. I'm too hot because I'm wearing all this. I don't need the jumper on, do I? Um, that fire cooking, or that fire being on, is someone actually cooking here? If so, oh no, that's just that's all right. It's just um decoration. Right, let's get this going then. Um, so pop that in and pop the wood in. We'll pop all of it in and get that burning. Right, and then go around and uh, get a little bit more. Is that something that I can... No. Um, beanie hat. Okay, that'll do for now. And then we'll pop this in and just go up. Um, what am I doing? Oh, we didn't actually get any more. Okay, that's fine. Right, so let's have a look up here now. So we haven't been up here before. So who knows? I think we went up that bit. But not up this bit. Right, get the gun out because I don't know if there's scientists here. Um, Jolly, that was a complete fail, mate. Oh no, is it hardcore parkour? Do I go through here then? Yeah, that door's open. No, it's not. Hmm. Okay. Right, we'll get this, whatever this is. So there's a crate here. More scrap metal. So scrap metal is very important at the moment. Um. Okay. So how do I get up there then? Oh, right, okay. Up here. Oh, no, Jolly. Up here. On there. Up here. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, um... Easy now. Don't start sneezing. Camera, eh? Okay. Wow. Um, we're probably going to plummet to our death. Okay. Um, go the easy way for a moment. Nice, nice. 
I like the sounds in here as well, the kind of echo and stuff. Um, yeah, so I bought this with my own money um, years ago, and it was... Uh, what is this? It was, I think, 11 quid. If anyone knows how to find out how much you actually paid for a game, please do let me know on Steam. And um, yeah, I'll do a screenshot of it. But yeah, this isn't sponsored or anything. I do like this game. I don't like the server wipes. And there are glitches in it that really shouldn't be in it at this point because it's been out for so long. One of the glitches is when you kill an animal, it does break dancing. Um, it does end up back in the original place that you killed it, but my goodness, it's disgusting to watch. It really is. That glitch. Like, it just breaks the realism so much. And as a lot of you are aware, I play games for escapism, so I want to kind of believe it. Oh. One of the things I used to like doing, when I got kind of a little bit established, one of the things I used to like doing is, um, yeah, being in the base and getting everything kind of going. So going out, getting wood, getting all the furnace, all the furnaces going and all that, and then just go hunting. And, uh, yeah, when you've got that glitch, it just ruins it. Okay, so we're right up the top now. Should have got that parachute, shouldn't I? Okay, so the loot isn't fantastic so far. Oh, it's still going up. Getting quite a lot of scrap. Okay, there's something down there, but I'm not going to try and get that. Bit of an echo in here. of an echo in here. See? Right. God, we're so high up now. I'll pause getting back down. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, so it wasn't too much parkour to get up here. Um, so maybe this is where the mega loot is. Grenade. Can't take it. Um, we don't really need shorts. We don't need a beanie hat. We'll take that. Um, anything else we don't need? Don't need a jumper. Uh, we don't need the sewing kit either. At the moment. We've got, I think, 20 of them back at home. Smoke grenade. Okay, we'll take it. More scrap. Um, we've got some of that. Perfect. I've still got some space in there, by the way. Um, okay, so let's pop the grenades there. I very rarely use grenades in games. Oh, and that stacks more as well. So the old lamp only stacked to 40 with the oil. So that's a bonus. Um, okay. Right, I think then that's probably Shalot. So yeah, I'm glad that I um, came back here. Because obviously we've missed out on so much. That's someone's base down there. Yeah, that's a really nice base. Um, well, I don't know anyone here. I don't really like lurking around people's bases just in case they come on. And obviously, I'm a nobody on YouTube, so I won't be able to say, it's all right, I'm Jolly Roger. Because I'll say, who the f flipping hell is Jolly Roger? Get out of my base. And it'll be really embarrassing. Um... Okay, should we try it? Should we try not plummeting to our death? Easy now, Jolly. Don't run! Okay. Nice. So, not fantastic loot, but better than a kick in the teeth. Should we try it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit nervous. Johnny found a shortcut. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm sure many people have um, used that shortcut. And I thought I had someone stand there then. It looks like legs. Right. I'll see you outside in just a moment. 
Okay, so we're back down now. Uh, what's in here? We'll just check. Right, so there's a little bit of coal in, so that's where someone else has been burning. And they've probably just taken a stack of coal out or whatever. Taken what they needed and left the rest. So let's quickly pop over here and get our stuff. And let's see how much it stacks to. Right, so it stacks to 100. Nice one. And we do need to put some of that in there. Take the wood out. Take the coal out. And yeah. Done. Yeah, so I'm glad I came back here. That was good. There was still some stuff up there that I missed. Because um, I didn't go on all of the kind of extremities. So I could have done some more parkour and um, got a few more supplies, but that's all right. And obviously all of these barrels over here have been left neglected. But um, yeah, it's 46 minutes now, so I need to think about wrapping this up soon. More stone. Yeah, and I do need to go mining at some point as well. So we're almost out of this. Sulfur. Um, I won't worry about that. We've got quite a lot of that. Get them stones. Yeah, but I think all of you will agree. So obviously, this is what episode five now. Um. So much nicer playing on a PvE server because you haven't got to deal with all that nonsense of people who, yeah, can't get partners thinking that they're really clever killing people who've just spawned in fresh spawns. Because when I play a game, I don't want to be playing against other people unless you're working in a team, I just want to be enjoying the game. It makes it far too stressful. Um, yeah, so let's bung some of this stuff in. We've got a few of them, so throw that in. I don't want the solar panels. We've got loads of that. Went in the wrong one, didn't it? Yeah, so as always, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so that's all done. And just heading back now, I'll just cut some more wood down. There's... Um, Another axe, uh, another tree over there, so we'll quickly grab that, as soon as it's right next to our base. And yeah, we'll get that cooker going. Well, not cooker, furnace. And yeah, and then that can be just burning. So it burns when I'm not here, by the way, so that's really good. So when I come back in, the wood would have exhausted itself, and we'll probably have um, yeah, a bit of this left still. But yeah, so let's bung that in so it's a thousand. Um, I need to do that, take that out. And then where's my 800 of them in there? Perfect. Um, doesn't go in there, Jolly. How many times do I have to tell you? Plenty. Okay, so stack that to a grand. Pop that there, that there. Um, that in there. That down there, that over there, that there bugger it. Oh, that's alright though, because that's going to be three down anyway, isn't it? Um, okay, and then we've got 471 scrap, so what was I working on this? Um, was it this then? No, it was this one. Wasn't it? Am I going mad? Where's my... Oh my god, then. Oh, it's here. Okay. And, um, yeah, so we should be able to make some of this stuff. Um, high quality metal, one sheet metal. Um, I don't think we can do sheet metal yet. Uh, so let's have a quick look on here. Um, clothing. Leather road sign sewing kit. Okay. Right. 
so let's see now. Um, okay. One of them. I'm right near it. It's right here. Bloody thing. Right, so we'll have a kilt. Some gloves. Where's the body one? Did I not unlock it? Didn't unlock it, Johnny. One of them. And now I should be able to get the full set. There we go. Perfect. Right. Yet again, I'll be back in a moment. I'll wait until this is done and then bring you back. Okay, sorry about that. Right, so now we've got this. So if you have a look at our stats at the moment, there are our stats. So that's what protection this stuff offers. And then if I swap this stuff out, it goes to that. I also made some boots as well. So let's pop them on. And um, yeah, so obviously I could still put some trousers on, but where we live in quite a kind of hot area, um, I probably shouldn't at the moment. Anyway, right, so that does bring us to the end of this one. So thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. I think it's been quite a successful one because we've killed a few scientists, explored at least the top of that place. We've done wherever that big ball thing is. And we've lost a vehicle that took most of last episode to get. So, <laughs> yeah, cheers for watching, everyone. And fingers crossed, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.